Hello guys, welcome to this Java tutorial for beginners. In our today's video, we will talk about the purpose of arrays and how to create an array in Java. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now let us understand the purpose of an array with the help of the program. Now let us suppose if we want to store the marks of 10 students. So simply what we can do is, you know, we can create the variables and store the respective marks, right? So here what I've done is I've created the variable marks one for the student one and so on until marks 10 for the 10 student, right? But this can become tedious, you know, if you want to store the values of 500 students, right? So this is not a feasible solution, right? So this is where your arrays comes into picture. And with the help of an array, what we can do is we can store the multiple values in a single variable itself. And you know, we can access the values using that variable only. So, so there is no need to, you know, store the values in separate variables, right? So here we have this variable 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on, right? Now, let us see how we can create an array and store the marks of these 10 students. Now here you can see that you know I have stored the marks of 10 students in an array named marks, right? And by comparing at the way of storing the marks of a student in individual variables and in an array, you know, we can see that the array is easier to store the values, right? And it is also the feasible solution, right? Because if we want to add the marks of the 11 student, what we can do is we can simply add a comma and write the marks, right? Now, let us understand creation of arrays in detail. So here you can see that I have added this, you know, square brackets after my integer data type, right? So this represents that this is an array of integers, right? And all the values that will be stored will be of the integer only right then we have this variable and this is nothing but your reference variable marks right and after the equal sign what i have is the curly brackets and inside the curly brackets i have all the values that need to be stored inside an array all right so this is the first way of creating an array and you know assigning the values to it Right. So one thing you must note that, you know, instead of writing the square bracket after your data type, you can also write the square brackets after your variable name. Right. And inside the curly parentheses, after your last value, you can just write comma and leave it empty. Then also your program will run successfully. Now, let us look at the second way of creating an array. So the only difference is that, you know, that after my equal to sign, I have this new keyword followed by that I have this data type and then it contains the 10 inside the square brackets. So this represents that you are creating the array that can store 10 integer values and all the values that will be created will have the default value of zero, unlike your marks array where we had this you know, explicit values set for each and every individual, right? But here all the values will be zero by default since we are not explicitly setting the values at the time of creation, all right? And the reason that all the 10 values will be set to the value of zero is because your integer data type has the default value of zero. So there are a few things that you need to know while creating your arrays, right? So whenever we are declaring an array and we are initializing in the same line, you know, we can do in this manner, right? But if what if I try to declare the array in a single line and initialize in the other line? So let us see what happens. So let us make this marks one. Okay. So have this array marks one, right? And now let me initialize the values on the separate line. So marks one equals to, and let me copy this statement, right? Now let me save this and run this, right? Now let me compile and execute the program. So here you can see that we have the compilation error, illegal start of expression. 
right so let us see how we can fix this compilation error so whenever we are initializing an array in this separate line you know we need to do something like this new int and then the square brackets and after the square brackets we can assign the values right and now if i compile and run this the program should run successfully but before that let me change the name of this variable marks1 to marks11 because we have already defined this variable marks1 here right so now let me execute it now let me compile and execute it so as you can see the compilation error is gone so now let me run it and the program ran successfully and one other thing that you need to know is that you can create an array of size 0 right so this is same as creating an array with no elements all right so that is it for the today's video and don't forget to subscribe for more java programming videos like this and i will see you until next time